let everyone get on here. Hey guys, we're starting up the uh, Facebook Live. I'm just gonna give everyone a chance to get on here for the next minute or so, and then we'll get rolling. have a clean break. Guys, let us know if you can hear us okay or if you're having any troubles um, hearing us or if it's blurry at all, let us know. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Facebook Live broadcast from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, today we have Kevin Zahn from our safety department with us to talk about some important things. Um, if you guys have any questions, as usual, send them in. We'll try to get all of them answered. Kev? Good morning, or good afternoon, depending on what part of the country you're in. Thanks, Brittany. Um, got a couple things I want to talk about here with you guys today. I appreciate you joining in. Uh, taking time out of your busy day. Um, just a couple incidents I want to talk about. Uh, recently, we had an incident, um, pretty serious one, and it's an incident where there was a forklift still in the back of a trader, and we didn't, uh, we failed to check to make sure that the uh, trader was empty, and our driver pulled away, and uh, pretty serious. So, it seems like common sense, but thought worth mentioning. Um, anytime you're pulling away from a dock, you know, make sure, you know, double check, go to the back of the trailer, you know, get your co-driver, ask for help. Um, is there any movement, you know, still in the trailer? Obviously you can tell usually when there's a forklift still back there, but if you're gonna pull away from the dock, you know, you know, if it doesn't have a red light, green light, you know, certainly you gotta make sure, you know, that there's nobody still in the trailer. So pretty serious incident. Thankfully nobody was hurt, but, uh, you know, make sure, you know, if you're going to pull away from any dock, that there's nobody still in that trailer. A uh, couple things I want to recap over the past uh, month and a half. Um, a couple different incidents that we've had happen, but you may find it interesting to know how many preventables we have had in the last month and a half, and it was 16. Um, you know, I think we can do better than that, um, but that's how many preventables we've had in the last month and a half. And just a couple I uh, highlighted that I want to talk about. Um, kind of an odd one, uh, you know, we've had a couple instances where we've had uh, road debris accidents. So be mindful as you're driving along, you know, looking for objects in the road, of course, and along with all the other hazards, but be careful, you know, out there to, to you know, make sure you're looking. And if there's, there's hazards or something on the road, if it, any and all way you can avoid it, you know, certainly, you know, move in your lane and try to avoid something but uh, you know just be careful and always be looking for things like that that potentially could be some kind of a hazard on the on the roadway itself uh, caused quite a bit of damage when we had happened here about a month ago and uh, we had a uh, we had dash cam video of it and we were able to see it it looks like the driver possibly could have uh, you know moved, shaded over to the left or right and maybe maybe avoided that but uh, so keep your eyes out you know sometimes uh, you know, there are hazards on the road itself. 
uh, besides all the other risks that you, you have to negotiate out there in your days. So just be careful and, and keep, a, keep a watchful eye. Um, with that being said too, um, we had another incident I'd like to talk about, but uh, make sure you, you know, when you're at customer locations, you know, looking for overhead hazards, um, lines, power lines, so forth, things like that. Uh, make sure you are looking, you know, uh, you know, not only the risk, you know, uh, what you're driving over, but look, look above, look, look for, uh, look for power lines and low hanging lines, things like that. And then also don't forget to, uh, you know, wear your PPE, you know, whatever is required of the customer locations, you know, make sure you are, you know, wearing proper PPE. Uh, another incident I'd like to talk about, um, unfortunately in the last, uh, last two months, we've had two instances where we have dropped trailers. So again, it seems like common sense, you know, complacency is our, is our, you know, is the risk. Um, you know, once you get complacent, you know, that's when you know, bad things can happen. So don't take things for granted. You know, it seems like common sense, but you know, when you're hooking to a trailer, make sure you're doing your safety inspection, you know, get underneath the trailer, make sure the, uh, the jaws are around the kingpin, and, uh, but most importantly, you know, do that tug test and make sure that uh, you are tugging on that, that trailer, make sure you are, you're properly hooked. Um, really serious incident. Thankfully, uh, the two incidents that we did have, they, we dropped the trailer right in a customer location. Uh, we weren't out on the road when that happened, so, but real important. Uh, again, it seems like common sense, but, uh, you know, I thought it was good, it worth reminding you guys that, uh, you know, double check, do a good tug test. Uh, a couple of, couple other type of accidents that we've had here in the last month or so. Um, turning, uh, turning left. If you have an opportunity and the choice to turn, uh, double turn lane, you want to always, obviously you want to be on the outside lane. Uh, keep the risk inside you. Um, you know, obviously you can see a whole lot better with the risk on the inner side, inside of you on the driver's side. So stay in the far outside lane when you have that opportunity. Another type of incident that we've had recently too, um, here in the last couple months, has been exiting parking spaces in truck stops. Um, you know, be mindful of your trailer swing. Are you close to that individual next to you? Um, you know, make sure, any, are your tandems slid up far so you're gonna have potential trader swing, uh, be mindful of that as you're, you're coming out of a parking spot, um, that, uh, you know, that there is trader swing and uh, we cause quite a good bit of damage making the trader making contact with another truck. So be mindful of that. I didn't want to take time to remind you guys, that was <coughs> worth uh, reminding you again about uh, uh, in-route inspections, how important they are. Um, I want to show you a picture um, of an incident and thankfully, as you can see here, the driver did an interrupt inspection and noticed, uh, you know, we're all this hazardous waste products. Um, the potential is there for, for a leak of uh, a barrel at times. Uh, you want to be, you know, careful and, and do those interrupt inspections every couple of hours. And uh, thankfully, we caught this, as you can see on the pictures here. It was a 55 gallon and drove that had, had uh, sprung a leak. And you can see, obviously, it was pretty clear that we had a leak as the, as the driver pulled over. Uh, when something like this happens, obviously you want to park uh, immediately in a safe location, um, in a level location if possible. Um, try to contain the leak. Um, you know, use your spill kit. Uh, real important to try to contain it as best you can. And if you have the opportunity and, it, and the ability to stop the leak, if it's in a drum, um, a stick, something, anything. Uh, at that point, we're just trying to contain. And but at that point. Uh, you know, you're going to want to get a hold of the emergency response uh, team that's on your uh, manifest, and then you want to get a hold of the safety as soon as possible. Um, but again, uh, you know, when this stuff happens, and it happens not very often, but it, it does happen, um, you know, do those in route inspections and hopefully you catch it sooner rather than later. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to take call an emergency response team. We don't, we don't expect you to be emergency responders, um, but if you can help mitigate and keep it from running, if it's if, usually they're just they're not usually by our experiences they're not real major leaks, um, but uh, you know we're going to need to get a hold of the emergency response team to come help and uh, and uh, contain that leak. Um, 
thought it was worth mentioning as well. Again, depending on what you're hauling, um, you know, again, those in-route inspections, not, not only looking for waste when you're hauling waste for, for waste leaks, but you're also, when you're not, um, you know, look for, uh, um, you know, you, 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 the last thing you want is an axle fire. Um, so, you know, our equipment's pretty good, you know, pretty new traders and you usually, that's not an issue. Um, but uh, that's the last thing you want is a dry axle and to get, uh, you know, fire. And again, depending on what you're hauling. So just uh, be mindful of your equipment and uh, do those in-route inspections uh, every two to three hours, um, uh, you know, as often as possible. Uh, if you if you do, if you do see a leak, you know, make sure you send a mackerel 24. Um, we want to document that, and obviously we're going to ask you to take pictures and so forth. But that helps us document the incident. Uh, but we do ask you to do that as well if you do incur you do you do find a leak out in the road. Okay. A couple other things I want to talk about. Um, Working safe, uh, work comp, you know, injuries. You know, when climbing, make sure you always maintain at least three points of contact. Um, you know, make sure, you know, slip trips and fall type injuries, looking for uneven surfaces, um, walking hazards, uh, holes in the pavement, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, climbing, also flipping your placards in between the tractor and the trailer. You get up on that catwalk area, that's very dangerous up there. Uh, make sure you're, you know, watching your stepping, your footing up there. You know, definitely use extra caution in between uh, the tractor and the trailer up on that catwalk area. So, um, again, just be, be careful when climbing. You know, make sure you got a good handhold. Um, you know, three points of contact at all times. Just be, just be careful out there. Uh, little update. We just had some new permits come out this week. Uh, California uh, Toxic Substances Permit came out. So, I'll get with your driver manager and... Uh, and they can send those to you, fax them to you, along with the uh, Maryland Has Waste Permit came out here this week. So make sure you get those updated in your permit books and get with your driver manager to get uh, copies updated in your permit books. Want to mention too, while I've got your uh, attention, um, talk about uh, hours of service uh, log editing. Um, remember that you can, you can edit your log prior, if you haven't certified it yet, when it comes to uh, on duty, off duty, and sleeper berth, of course. Um, so make sure that, that you know if you do need to edit, you know how do you do that? You know you just click on the certify or the approval tab, and then you highlight the duty status that you're trying to edit, and then you just follow the prompts. You know change it to what you need to change it to. So again, if you haven't certified or approved your logs, know that you can edit uh, your log uh, prior to approval. Again, the drive line. If you need help with that, obviously call. Uh, Call, call safety and we can uh, help you edit uh, any drive time but just remember any any on duty status off duty sleeper you, you can edit that yourself just go to the again the approval tab or the certified depending on your your unit and then highlight that that duty status that you're trying to edit and uh, you're able to edit that yourself okay one last thing I wanted to talk about <clears throat> Again, uh, depending on what part of the country you're in this week, but uh, there, there's a severe uh, weather outbreak potential for today and tomorrow in, in the East Coast with heavy rains, winds, and so forth. So, you know, we got through winter. Um, you know, most of the part, most of the country is uh, snow-free, the roads, and, but now we're getting to the potential for heavy winds and rains and tornadoes and those types of things. But, you know, wet roads can be, you know, very dangerous, as we all know. So make sure you are using caution when it is uh, raining heavily. Um, I've got a little video I wanna share with you real quick, but uh, I thought it was important to share this because you know, we think of uh, you know, hazardous uh, driving conditions on the road as winter driving ice and snow and so forth, but uh, wet roads can be just as dangerous. And this particular incident here that I'll share with you, we were traveling underneath, under the speed limit at 63, it was a 65 zone, and looks like a normal, just kind of wet road day. And the next thing you know, we're hydroplaning. And uh, fortunately, no one injured, nobody else involved. But again, wet roads uh, can be very dangerous and just make sure you're, you know, you know, maybe slow down a little bit for sure. You definitely wanna go a little slower and, and it's heavy rain, uh, you get the high wind, um, especially if you're empty. You know, if you're empty, 
you know, you definitely want to you know, slow down a, a little bit. Um, you know, it can be just as dangerous again as, as snow and ice in winter driving. So please, uh, you know, use extra caution when you've got uh, heavy rain, heavy wind, uh, and so forth. That's all I had to share with you guys. I just uh, thought it was important to talk about a couple of those incidents, and hopefully this uh, by reminding you, reminding you about uh, you know a couple of safety procedures and some things you can do to avoid those. Hopefully, we'll avoid those in the future. Um, so appreciate your help with that, and appreciate the job everybody does out there. Really, honestly, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, but uh, again, just a couple of those incidents. You know, just be careful. Uh, you know, help us avoid those in the future. Any questions, anything? No. Nope. Pretty quiet, pretty good? No. Nope. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining in, everybody. Uh, have a safe rest of your week out there, and uh, drive safe. Thanks, Kevin.